When you live in New York, the bar is set high. We expect each other to keep up. Our catwalks are the bus stops, the dog parks, the subway platforms. On the train this morning, I saw a pair of boots. They were black suede boots that came over the knee. They were like fairy tale boots or Russian double agent boots or what a married French woman would wear to meet her lover. But the woman wearing the boot was 2627, a beautiful 2627. And I told myself I wouldn't look like her even if I had those boots. Like when you take a picture to the hairstylist and say that, and you come out with a cut, but you're not the woman in the picture. She's blonde, you're brunette. She has blue eyes, yours are green. She's a model and you're not. I couldn't ask the woman where she got the boots. It would sound like a come on. I would sound like a crazy lady, but sometimes when you compliment a woman's clothes, they lean forward girl to girl and say, TJ Maxx or Saks. Nice boots, I say. She looks around as if a fly is buzzing. Nice boots, I say. And she smiles briefly and looks back down at her phone. When I say smile, I mean flinch. She flinched tightly and looked back at her phone. Uh, where did you get them? Now the bitch is ignoring me. She's staring at the subway map. Where did you get them? They were very expensive. Oh, is that what I asked? Where did you get them? I got the last pair. Apologetic shrug. Supply chain. Supply chain my ass. I want those boots. I will find those boots. I will check every website. I will scan every store window. I will search the world and use every one of my four languages. Il faut que j'ai ces bottes. Aku harus dapat sepatu itu. Wa antwa pun I hate this hang eh. I have to have those boots. Working with 24-hour plays, viral monologues over the last several months, for me, has been a truly game-changing and career-redefining moment. Please consider donating to the 24-hour plays. They will do more with your dollar than organizations many times their size.